Hello, MechWarrior. Welcome aboard. This is who plays MechWarrior 5. The uh, career mode, D all four DLCs. This is modded with uh, yet another Mech Lab. Just want to keep giving them guys that do that credit as much as I can. It's the perfect mod for MechWarrior 5. And there's a series of them, not just the one. But you can pick and choose which one you want to add on for the add-ons to yet another Mech Lab. So that's my plug for them. We're in the uh, Dr Drosendorf system. We're going to head up to uh, Zivalin. I want to see if this is, in fact, uh, the mission with the treasure at the end of it. That's what the little symbol here means in green. Um, it's a, we're working for Steiner, which is one of the things I've uh, done. I'm, I'm only going to do working for Steiner, not against. I'll take pirate missions against pirate missions, but not uh, not against Steiner. I'm getting my reputation up as high as I can for him, so I get better rewards for missions. That's just a, it's a make sense kind of thing. You shouldn't just willy-nilly fight anybody. That's how you wind up with uh, no extra points whatsoever. I have a beachhead. This beachhead does not include the treasure hunt, and it is a 230 ton. Normally I'd say, well, why take that one? I'm going to show you why I take that. Like I said, I've been earning extra points. I got five extra picks. So instead of six, I got ten. I know that doesn't add up. Some missions have a limit to how much you can get. And look at this. 75% extra. I don't see a visibility issue, so I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because it's a beachhead, and beachheads are a pain in the ass. I'm not too worried about that. I'll explain why once it becomes obvious, because that's a good way to do that. 3.9 million C bills and 26 picks. 26 might get me a good beat up heavy. Let's hope. One can hope that it gets me one instead of me giving them one. Poor snowstorm. So that's why. That's fine enough. We confirm the and fly. Is under heavy weather warning. Uh oh. It's going to affect visibility and sensors. I did not repair. I was at the end of the last mission. I so seldom forget to do that. It's kind of crazy that I didn't. No, fire starter, you're out of luck. You're you're salvage. In fact, you're salvage now. I'll take six hundred for you. 15 days. Wow. Somebody got hit up. Oh, Phoenix Hot. Oh, me. Okay. This is my 200. Uh... Yeah, so. Here's what we're going to do. You're going back into the Crusader. Not mine. This one. With long range missiles. But you're going to do that down here. Which is where long-range missiles belong. Time to get nasty. And the Bay 3 Crusader is this one. He goes to Bay 4. Not the Jenner. The uh, Griffin goes to yours and my old favorite, Commander Griffin or Mason. Yeah, Griffin. I ride slot one with my avatar, um, who is a normal pilot. There's a danger to that. Generally speaking, Commander Mason, if he gets ejected from his mech, cannot die. Um, game would be over. Um, I can die. And I've already maxed out ballistics energy, and I'm building on missiles, and boy am I building. Look at this guy. This guy builds on missiles, that's all there is to it, so... But at some point, two more points in, I'm going to have to give him some uh, training. And since we haven't spoken about it until now, we will do so now. Let me give you a demonstration of training. Gunman here. I am running the pilot overhaul mod, which is one of my favorites. It adds a whole new storyline and 
system for uh, within the game of training quirks etc no i can't do any here normally it would say training right here if i could um, industrial hubs are good for that so we'll get back to that eventually i just wanted to show this the other good part about it is like with lieutenant Deal connor murphy me. i fight for you Deal? Deal. i think it does in fact look like a neuro helmet as described in the lore in the books but one of the good parts we'll do that again one of the good parts is we can actually put a face on the guy that is one we like we can actually name him anything we want like this one he is lieutenant runs in because that's what he does okay this is gunman he's a danger to everybody I she prepare. her call sign is isis but it shows on screen as Peyton. And I just think they got that wrong. They should do it like this. Now, we know that that this is, is in fact L Lieutenant Peyton, and we can look at her here and say Lieutenant Peyton, but when we do a combat drop, I don't need to hear ISIS and, and look for Peyton. These guys are bouncing in and out of my uh, my mech bay and bouncing in and out of you know the combat missions. I can't remember all of them. I play way too much for that. Hey, I gotta remember to get Goblin some training. He's a 60. In this version, at least. You'll notice the elites. I've got uh, the pilot overhaul mod set to do all levels. But not only that, and it's just, I'm not convinced that's because of that, but in this case, oh, objective logs, I'm sorry. I have the list as a. Uh, cantina mission or uh sorry no a uh high reward mission i'm supposed to be completing you can pause the screen and read it basically what it's saying is locate and acquire the elite pilots and they're scattered everywhere not necessarily in industrial hubs so i should be Got doing this every time i go somewhere and doing this because there might be one there i missed a few at the beginning because i didn't have the money to hire them so there's a couple more of them out there. That's how I got those um, elite pilots. And I'm going to take them because, boy, they make all the difference in the world. So we're already 15 days. Punch that space bar. Click that button, whichever one you want to do. Let's put some metal in the dirt. We are the vanguard for an imminent invasion of the area. Your job is to eliminate any defending forces and capture the enemy fortification. Destroy the radar dishes directing the anti-aircraft fire. Once they've gone, our employer promises to land a few extra units to help you out. We have unidentified battlenecks on screen. Assume they are hostile and engage. Just for the record, I'm playing no artillery. That means if there is artillery, they can't hit me. That's one of the mods I always run, and it's got nothing to do with gameplay, although it does make it easier for me. Um, I play it for other reasons. I've had, we'll just say I've been on both sides of it. I'm detecting unidentified mechs in the area, moving in to investigate. This is Psycho, check sensors. Target acquired. That was an artillery platform. Keep in mind I'm running short range missiles and medium lasers, so I don't have uh, long range at all. Nothing. I don't need to kill those artillery, they're not going to hurt me.
It's bad enough I gotta deal with uh, that mess. Horrible bombardment. That total mess. Lasers coming down. That's one set done. Psycho here. Target all gone. Yeah, that's part of the problem with the uh, artillery. I get quiet. We'll let my guys take it out. Wait for them to catch up to me because a happy lance is a tight together lance. Can't help but notice that my uh, crusader with LRMs is taking more damage than anybody else. said snow, they mean snow, don't they? But hey, if I get paid 75% extra for pushing the R button a few more times to direct my fire, then that's what I'll do. I don't want to trip that off yet. Main base? I'd rather not. We'll come at these from the side. The idea is to get my reinforcements in before I kick off the main base. I'm not going to be able to do that. Coming in. Back. Nice one. So much I prefer running into a uh, bunch of petroleum jelly or whatever that was I ran into that blew up. Meet my SRMs, Mr. Hunchback. That's the place, Commander. Destroy the enemy garrison. back out again. They got more behind me. Ruby's precise. And more artillery. Disappears as soon as I push the button.
twos. Sounds bad, but the bottom line is, uh, paper tiger. As, as he turns me red. God, I hate urban max. 35 tons of hell. Wow, really? This guy's gonna take me out. But I'm gonna let it. I'm just gonna stand here and do a revenge screw. Yep, both arms. to get out here and get our reinforcements in. Start the capture. Stay close and keep the base clear of hostiles. The preferred way of running this mission would have been to get on the sides and uh, not kick this off yet. Stop them from recapturing the base. Destroy all remaining enemy artillery. There's still some artillery out there. Prepare for more bombardments. I can hear enemy vehicle destroyed. I can't hit them, so I ignore them. And do some wiggling. what it's worth that uh, Urban Mech che chewing me up was uh, brought on by the fact that the artillery I just really I lock up can't think can't do not an excuse that's my reason I see the other crusaders throwing uh, LRMs at this guy yeah. Fired three times at it. Not exactly very efficient. If you find the acquisition, just walk up to it in order to pick it up. I don't need extra ammo. I need this. Okay, I got him. Without falling down the side of a hill. Okay, 
think I just turned on my torso twist. I know I did and don't know how to turn it off. That one. I've not yet changed that to something I never hit on the keyboard. Friendly reinforcements should be arriving shortly. Now we come back to this. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Excellent find, Commander. Beginning recovery now. Additional friendlies are entering the combat zone. Alpha 1 1, this is Whiskey 6 1. Thanks for clearing out that AA installation. Heard you could use a little backup. We're on our way in. Stand by two mics. Whiskey 6 1, out. New target, Blackjack. No good. There's a chopper here. Mm, I took some shrapnel. Shucks. That's not good. coming for the last mission, but if I can keep my head together, we'll uh, take this stuff out. We can stand still. It's too far away to make a difference. Get back in here and get the capture working. Target destroyed. I normally go out and hunt down orbital guns as well, even friendly ones, and kill them. Just let them put up with this. Artillery garrison destroyed. They've gotten organized. Expect a large attack very soon. Target, quick draw. Changing combat range. And he's got an LRM-10, so we'll run in on him. Target acquired. It's too far away to do anything. first. Boy, I 
that didn't help. Splooge my leg. Target acquired. Target it. I got it. I gotta stand back. That last one, uh. Just about blew my leg off. Leave it to me, sir. That would be really good if I could see some LRMs flying at it eventually. Might be best if I go do them. Wow, everybody's kind of hurt, huh? There we go. You've cleared the way for the cavalry. They'll be arriving shortly. All stations, this is Sierra 1 1. Be advised. We've just completed re entry. Lights are green. Well, that kind of took the land. stuffing Sierra out of my entire lance, didn't it? I think we'll just go someplace for an industrial hub and lick our wounds. Maybe I was a little bit too uh, enthusiastic about not being able to see where I was going in this one. Maybe I just wanted the money. 75% kicker on the money. Hey, I'll take that. And the 75% kicker on the uh, salvage did not hurt. And then I got a dervish or Dang it, or a uh, quick draw. I've got two missile mechs. I'm gonna leave the dervish be. You know, especially the 55 ton dervish, but I'm, I'm riding in the 65 ton. Quick draw. Quick draw is marginally better than the griffin. So I'm gonna take that. Then I'm going to take stuff if I can to make that a better mech. And I'm here to tell you, that's a big no. I can't do that. Okay, this says I've already got five urban mech pieces, which is all I need to complete an urban mech. So I'll do that next place and sell it. Rapidly. Nothing else I want. I got 12. What do I got? I got a Chiquita, which is money only. Or I got a Hunchback. G, which makes me say G, better off taking the Chiquita for the money, because it's worth 3-2, which means I get half of that most of the time. So we'll take that. We'll take that. And I think we're going to run to a uh, oh, bruised even. Yeah, he killed three Igors. We'll take that. I know I meant to take that. Hmm, machine gun with ammo. Half a million sea bills. Cleaned. Okay. Halfway to seven. Which means a long way to go. Now it's gonna tell me my... Yeah, this is strange. Let's go to uh, Rajkot. 48 days, 300k. I got 13.9 million in the bank. If there's something good to be got, I'm gonna get it. I do like the structured premise of the campaign. I like the free-for-all, the career mode. This is just me playing within the game, doing what I gotta do, making money. Getting equipment, getting better. I like that. I really, I think I favor the campaign, to tell you the truth. Um, but hey, we're here. Let's find out what we got. Mech market. That's the most important thing. Commanders, Crusaders, Enforcers, and Jenners. In other words, nothing. Equipment. Can I get some jump jets at least to close out that one? 
Not even a jump jet for sale. Yeah, you hear me massively clicking on that button. It didn't do one damn bit of good. Barracks. There's a good one. There's a better one. Yep, yeah, I'll change that voice. I mean, if you had this, wouldn't you get plastic surgery and change your face? Where's the other one? Hammer here. Powering up. Let's do this. Hmm. What I do wish is within the uh, operations objective logs, it would tell me where I stand on this. Because the elite pilots, you know, it's like. Well, how many do I have to get? That just cost me literally a million bucks to do that. And the good news is, ain't nothing else here to spend money on. And him, he sold for 1.8. So I made money coming here still. This guy's going to get repaired eventually. But right now what I'm going to do is... Uh, no, they took some damage this last time, didn't they? He's okay... He is not. He's okay. That one's going to repair the medium, and that's the one I was in, so. He did, yeah, I just lost. Yeah, so we'll take this guy. Which is probably. See, now that's how they do it. Am I in the CRD 3R or am I in the Crusader 3R? Who the hell knows? Luck of the draw. That was the okay one. Want to make sure it does it right. I've had it say it's good and not have a medium laser one and therefore not repair it, so. It behooves us to double check our subordinates. 70 days on the quick draw, and I bet that, that does not include a engine core, because I don't have a three, sorry, 300 laying around, so. And I don't want it to repair jump chip. Jump, try get the hiccups, wow, weird. Don't need zeros. Wow, that's a strip mech, pretty much. Serious hiccups. Nineteen days right there. Twenty-one days, and I'm gonna wind up getting an empty mech at seventy-seven days. So this is gonna be a long-term project. I don't have any engine cores. I've got a sixty from an urban mech. What's the market got? I think that was a three hundred. I think also that a 200 gets me up to the, or 255 gets me up to the speed I need to maintain pace with the rest of my mechs, and I really don't need a sprinter at 60 tons. That's a lot of weight difference, 31.5 tons, 13 tons. We're going to take that one. That's a smart choice. Okay, it's the economic choice. 79 days. It's got two slots for missiles. We'll make it uh, that one. Nice central place. I don't need that one to be able to lean back and shoot stuff. And we'll give him, her, it. One of my four SRM6s. 
Take this LRM ammo, put it down here. Give it one of these here. A controversial large laser. There. Okay, we'll do that again. We'll put it there. Because I am running yet another mech lab and I don't care the size of the slot. And then give it three mediums. For a match set, that's what I got. Eight tons remaining. And the best I'll be able to do really is eight heat sinks, nine total. Some of these ought to be over here. Well, I've got two tons left over. Don't forget that max armor button. Maxed. That's it. Mech is too hot, folks. That's the bottom line. That mech is too hot. This cooling heat should be half of this, and it's not even close. And that means I can't do the large laser as much as I'd like to. It's just not feasible. Not even on an AI run mech, it'll just not, it'll just overheat. And I do want it to continue to heat, to shoot as much as I can. And look at my leg armor, that's ridiculous, no, that's max armor, once again. Doesn't do any good to have a mech that shoots, you know, 600 points of damage, but it has tin foil for armor. If that don't do it, uh, it's almost good. Almost good. The heat's now better. Might lose a ton just to get... Yeah. Arms are okay. Side torsos are okay. Legs are a little weak. We're going to leave it go. Now imagine if I'd actually done this with the... Uh, jump jets and the bigger engine to make it run faster. That's why the quick draw could could use some improvement fresh out the other uh, bin. Oh, need some of those. Finally got some of that. Probably pulled them right out of this. That's not what I wanted. Jeez. Market. Jump jets. None. <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay. I did just pull them out of this. That's a whole lot of plus on the structure and the uh, armor in it. And I gained points for Alpha Strike, I gained points for damage per second, and I gained a lot for uh, cooling heat and took some off. Good mech. 109 days. <laughs> oh yeah. That's going to be a journey. You know, I still got 10.8. And we're going to take a look at the star map. First for the hero. Then we'll come back for the uh, rare. And I'm in a position where I can sell some mechs. In particular, Jenner's. Got two of them. So I could maybe pick up a good hero mech here. And Orion, the ON1P. If I do not have enough, I will sell everything to get this one. I've got enough. And a million left over. Favorite mech for heavies. Absolute favorite. I don't care if I gotta run them stock for the next six years. 
absolute favorite. And I don't have to run him a stock for the next six years. I've got this guy. Does he have anything I really want, like a double heat sink? He does. Gone. <laughs> I've got to add a single just so I can take that out. That's some weird rules that they put into this uh, iteration. Start that up. Cue that up. How about your pirate? Uh, yeah. The D is actually better than the pirate for uh, alpha, so. What do you got in you? Yeah, buddy. Double, double, double. <coughs> SRM half ammo. I kind of needed that at one point. Seven days. Do it. <coughs> Jenner D. Double, double double. I'll take that. Eight days. What am I doing? Need another heat sink. <coughs> Start that off. Nine days. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. We're gonna run that out. I want all those double heat sinks. That just makes sense to me. Spread them around, and give them use. Could have gone ahead and uh, ooh, not 80 days. I'm not. Um, could have gone ahead and taken a look at the uh, Orion P protector. <coughs> Excuse me, again. And or still. And at this point, we're gonna sell this guy. Cause he's got nothing useful in him. That's gonna give me two million C bills, uh, three million total to do some stuff on him. So. Pharaoh, PPC Gauss. Engine double heat sink. So he's going to be a nice cool mic at this point. Um, I got two tons of Gauss ammo, which is 52 shots, which is never enough for anything. And I got an SRM4 Artemis and the ammo for it. And that's going to instantly go away. Get replaced with a 6 for the same weight. And a ton of ammo for the same weight once again. And I'll worry about where I got put later. Not sure about the Gauss. Let me see what else I got for... I got an AC-10 burst fire and a UAC-5. Not my favorite in either case. The 5 just doesn't do enough damage per shot. Um, does okay per damage, but see that's 3.67 per damage. Here's a 10, and it's doing four per second. Let's see what the Marcus got, if I can get lucky. Not this time. You gotta go with what you got, and what I got, inventory, is a 10. Take that out. I've just saved a lot of weight, by the way. There's no weight savings here. I'm going to wind up taking more than I had, because I'm going to take three. Displace the Pharaoh. Probably going to wind up replacing, ripping out the Pharaoh, to tell you the truth. It saves like three tons, but 
I just saved that in the uh, Gauss rifle to AC-10 change, and I did that because for sure, for sure, I don't have any Gauss ammo. That's hard to come by. And just as for sure, oh, I got the two that it came with. And the market has, oops, sorry, ammo, none. Uh, all. Yeah, none. That means I'd be, it would be a 14 ton weapon sitting in my upper torso with no practical purposes because it just couldn't do anything. Okay. I'm gonna give him. Oh, not market. Come on. Two double heat sinks. That brings me back up the weight again. But I also want to get rid of this. And I'm not sure if I want to put another PPC back in. What I'd really prefer doing is go to my favorite configuration, which is to drop these two and put in large lasers. But that makes me a ton overweight already. But the cooling heat is there. And this is actually one of my favorite configurations for this mech. It gives me a lot of reach out. Although actually my favorite would be the AC-10 burst fire would be a LBX-10 solid. It's a lot of long range reach out and hurt. But do I want to drop a heat sink for that? A double heat sink for that? That would give me 2.2 on cooling heat which would be Sufficient. Yeah, because that's 4.4 or 10% over my, my personal minimum. Let's see how this guy does. Indeed, let's see how this guy does. At least until I can get him a uh, XL engine, this will be my mech. 36 days. That's juicy. Two point two million. Got the uh, busher a uh, uh, buffer of two for him. Two for him. So a four million, six million dollar buffer right now. Not too shabby. I don't know why this Crusader's not uh, repaired completely. That's okay. We'll go ahead and do a loadout on him. This is a hot mech. No, this is my mech. Uh -huh. So he is a hot mech. I don't have any engine heat sinks, so. Let's see what I can do about some of that heat by putting some of those double heat sinks I just pulled up from everybody else. Two point four for a four point six weapon heat. Good heat. Do I have a SRM two I can SRM4 I can make, it's a tier 2. I do not. How about the market? No freaking chance, they never have anything. Yeah. Love Infernos. 
honestly never use them. Fix that, fix that, fix that. Yeah, uh, fix all. I think we're golden once again. I also think I can drop one of these and get another heat sink in here. Drop that, get a regular. Tell me at all. Wow, doubles are all over the place. Here I was thinking I was buying that as a special deal. <coughs> Excuse me again. Hmm. Do I really want to throw a SRM2 in there? I could do it. <coughs> could actually do two of them. Chain fire that in there and watch me take out some demolition missions. Nah, I'm gonna throw it as a heatsink and a regular one at that. I'm going to do it this way. And that away. It pads the, uh, the damage from criticals going into the good stuff, including my double heat sinks and my uh, missiles. 27 days. No biggie. And just one other thing to do. Sorry about you guys who are purists and you want to keep all of your, uh... Hero mechs painted with their hero colors. I don't see a need to do that. I've, I've played this enough times to know what they look like and... I like them in my paint schemes. Strange as it may seem, this ON1 protector, ON1P, will be in my back bay until the end of this game. I can tell you that right now. And if I get an XL engine in this, you're going to see something special. But you're not going to see that right now because this is the end of this episode for Oprah Plays Mech Warrior 5. And Ope is out.